What's it gonna be? Ooh. We oui, we oui, ha ha fresh vanilla. Come on, 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 come on. Yes, oh my God, yes. Coffee talk. All right, so this video is going to be a little bit about, actually, it's all about what I do for a living. My job title is a wellness specialist. Literally, that means basically I'm a health coach. I work in a concierge physician's office. It is a primary care doctor's office where I am an in-house personal trainer, exercise physiologist, diet, exercise, nutrition, go-to person. I do in-house submaximal VO2 testing, basic upper body, lower body strength testing. It is more or less a office environment with a treadmill, some free weights, some exercise equipment where we do all of our baseline testing and then we work hand in hand with the doctors, their primary care provider, to basically figure out what is going on with you in your life. Do you have issues with high blood sugar, cholesterol? Are you overweight? Are you underweight? Are you losing cardiovascular health from year to year? Is your exercise staying the same? Do you have any diet questions coming to me? Are you on a workout routine and basically you are bored with it? Do you need exercise programming? Do you just need coaching? Do you need accountability? We provide an in-body machine scan. Basically, it is a very sophisticated scale that works through a method called bioelectrical impedance analysis. If you've ever gone to a gym or worked with a trainer to where they give you one of those handheld devices, you'll hold on like this, input your name, age, and a bunch of information, and it gives you your BMI, percentage body fat. It is the same premise, the same technology, but it is a lot more sophisticated. There are a lot more sensors that go through your hand, through your feet. And what it does is it sends currents, different wavelengths, different frequencies throughout the body, and basically how fast or how slow completes that circuit from your hand to your feet. It knows it travels through different rates, through muscle, through fat, through water, and then it determines percentages, pounds, basal metabolic rates. So basically what I do is provide baseline fitness testing and then a body composition analysis, give it to the person, say, hey, this is where you stand. This is how quick you are, this is how slow you are, this is how strong or how weak you are in certain areas. This is your composition. How much of you is fat? How much of you is muscle? How much of you is water? And how much energy does your body require in a 24 hour period? So what we do basically is take a lot of the initial guesswork out of exercise and diet programs for people who are looking to start one, to continue on one, or just need some accountability throughout the year. And so we see a lot of people on a first time basis once a year and that's it and never come back. They just think getting on the treadmill and working with the in-body scan is pretty cool. But we do see a lot of follow-up. And that's more or less why I think we make the most bang for our buck and providing accountability. A lot of times people know what they need to do. They've done it before and have had good success. They've just kind of gotten busy with life or fallen off the wagon in some way, shape, or form. And just need someone there to say, hey, you can do it. You have done it. I'm going to show you how to do it. And so we work a lot with weight loss management, giving people exercise programming to increase weight, specifically for muscle mass, uh, and then just provide kind of that supplemental physical when they come into the doctor for their actual physical. The question I've been getting the most about my job is, hey, I'm in high school, I'm in college, I'm thinking about doing something similar. What do I need to study? What kind of jobs should I be looking for? Blah, 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 blah. But so I'm gonna let you know what I did. I went into the army for six years, got injured, became very interested in the body, anatomy, physiology, rehab, sports medicine. Uh, basically, exercise became medicine for me. It was a very personal reason. Uh, I had to learn how to walk again, I had a lot of injuries and things that kind of set me back a lot of ways physically. Pause. So, when Uncle Sam gave me the boot out of the military, I was medically discharged, and so I went to school, started using up my GI Bill that I earned and paid into. So I came back here to Richmond, Virginia, sort of kind of my hometown. I was born here, grew up in Roanoke, Virginia. Went to VCU, Virginia Commonwealth University. I enrolled in their health, physical education, and exercise science program. I focused, had a concentration in community health, and I sort of kind of got my minor in psychology. I missed it by like two classes. I was just, wasn't paying attention. So I got a lot of psychology on the side. Um, that was my bachelor's degree. I really think anything, any undergraduate work in a health sciences field 
community health, physical education, exercise science, kinesiology, human movement, anything around how the body works, how to provide it with nutrients, and how to rehab it is going to get you into a general playing field where you have a lot of other options. That's one thing I really enjoy the most about my degree is that I think it is a springboard into so many options, so many possibilities for what you want to do in the health, wellness, fitness, exercise industry. I'm not a registered dietitian. I would like to think that because of my own personal knowledge base about staying active, eating well, knowing what works best for your body in regards to fat, carbs, protein breakdowns, protein breakdown, when to eat, how much to eat. Um, I have a lot of knowledge base to offer people and so I give them advice and guidance but I never actually say, okay, you need to eat this at 8.30, you need to eat this, you need to stop because I technically can't. But people listen to a lot of things I have to say because I have the degree, I have the background and not to to my own horn but I am in good shape. I'm not in the best shape. I'm, I have my ups, my downs, but I'm in more or less kind of a maintenance phase. And so people respect that. I and mean, I think nine, nine out of 10 people are looking to not step on a bodybuilding stage. They're not trying to set state records for a powerlifting meet. They just want to look good, feel good. And um, that's what I help them do. Getting back to the education part. Bachelor's degree in health, physical education, exercise science, community health concentration. I am Almost halfway through my master's degree, I'm getting my master's of science in health promotion management with a concentration either in sports nutrition or corporate wellness. I haven't quite picked yet, but after the summer semester, I'm gonna have to choose one or the other. I think I'm going to go with the corporate health option because regardless of what I wanna do in my own personal endeavors, I know without a shadow of a doubt, one day I will be my own boss. I'm gonna do my own thing because that's just what I wanna do. My parents growing up were entrepreneurs, they were own boss, and it has its pros and cons, but I just know that I want to only answer to myself. And so if that doesn't happen, or if it doesn't happen in the time frame that I would like it to, I wanna have a corporate, I think, wellness concentration because it is a very booming industry right now, and you can apply it in so many different ways. You can go into literal corporate America, into employee wellness programs, excuse me, you can do your own thing in regards to opening up your own facility, depending on the type of concentration that you have. Literally, people just want to see that you have this piece of paper, that you went to school, learn this stuff, and then they immediately will go to you. I think that certifications, personal trainer certifications, group exercise certifications, nutritionists, stuff like that, I don't think they are necessary personally, but professionally, a lot of people, a lot of companies require some additional certification, credentialing. Um, it just looks good on paper and it, because so many people are getting them now, it's just making a more competitive market into where if you don't have one, then you better get one. So I did a group exercise certification. Uh, I'm currently studying to take my ACE health coach certification. And on top of my master's degree, I think I'll be pretty set. And so for me, what started as a personal inquiry, personal interest in, hey, I've got to adjust my exercise, I've got to adjust my lifestyle around my injuries, but I don't want to give up. I want to pursue, I want to modify things, I want to get around these injuries because they're not going to keep me down. So in a lot of ways, I am a much stronger in shape person than I was in the military um, before even my injuries. I don't do nearly as much cardio and stuff as I did back then because in the army it's just here, throw 100 pounds on your back and we're going to walk, we're going to run, you know for the next five, 10, 20 miles. Uh, we wanna know how long can you last? Can you drag a person that, out of the foxhole next to you and not die? So there's certain standards that they uphold that I think really kind of paved the way for my interest initially, but really just learning the science, the mechanics behind why cardiovascular health is important, why strength training is important, what it does to your body, how to properly fuel, refuel it, and how to get around, how to get, work your way around certain things, injuries, illness, and how to cater to special populations. And that's kind of what I do now mostly. So if you're interested in anything in the health, wellness, fitness, exercise industry, any type of degree in the health sciences field, I think will get your foot in the door. And speaking of getting your foot in the door, pause, internships. Soak up as many opportunities as you can because internships, A, I think most importantly, will show you what you don't want to do as a career, but they also will show you what you do want to do. Do as many as you can. My my undergraduate degree required me, I had 
I think over 700 hours of internships. My final semester was nothing more than an internship. Actually, I divided it up into two. So I worked in a hospital environment, an employee wellness program, very much strict corporate wellness. And then I worked in another one that did kind of biometrical, uh, biomedical health screenings. Yeah, there we go. So we did basic blood paneling, health coaching, exercise programming to an extent. We also staffed and ran private corporate gyms. So large organizations here that had their own gyms for employees. We were their trainers. We were the gym rat gurus. We did the group exercise training, general gym maintenance, stuff like that. So kind of like if you just got a job at like a Gold's Gym as a trainer. Uh, and then I also did a lot of work with the local fire department overseeing their annual field testing for their fireman's certification. Uh, and then I just worked one-on-one -on -one in the firehouses kind of throughout the year as trainers, health coaches. I honestly think it all boils down to health coaching. If you can understand the psyche and the mentality behind someone's idea or where they are in the, if you want to get technical here, if you're starting to study this, you'll know this, the uh, behavior change model. And so you have to really understand that not every person is going to be like, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. I'm sick and tired of being overweight, out of shape. I want to make gains, but they're not all there. So many times I just want to beat my head up against the wall and just be like, stop it. Stop eating. Stop eating. Stop eating. Eat less, do more, but you're never going to get through to some people like that. So what you got to do is understand where they are in their personal life. Try to pick up on little things that they may say or do and try to get them to have the ideas themselves. They need to understand that, hey, if they're a family person, they got kids, they got a wife, any type of significant relationship, um, that, hey, you wanna be around as long as you can for them, right? You wanna be able to play with your kids, play with your grandkids. You want to not have to spend all this extra money on medication. Exercise and proper nutrition is the best preventive medicine. Exercise is medicine. Food is medicine. I think there are so many things that can be reversed, modified, and done away with as far as injury, illness, if people just take the time to understand their body and get some help when they need it. And so if you're the type of person who's gonna have a little bit of patience and dealing with people who don't wanna make change right away, will make change, backtrack, and not really listen to what you say, and you have to kind of just really take your time and work with them a lot more, but I promise you the payoff is worth it. I'm the kind of person that Maybe it's just the, uh, the elder in me. I have a kind of a general caring nature. I really thrive off of seeing other people succeed and make progress in my life that I care about, my personal relationships, my family, my girlfriend, uh, close friends of mine. I love seeing people succeed. And if I can help them in any way, get to where they want to be in life and accomplish any goal, whether it's small, medium, large, whether it's like it, love it, gotta have it. Um, I just love helping people. And so I think this profession has really opened up a lot of doors and opportunities for me and really helped me understand people a lot more. Uh, I would also probably recommend, kind of like I said before, I almost got that minor in psychology. A lot of my master's work is in health psychology. And so really you're not only understanding how the body works, but also how to understand people, understand the mind. If you can change the mind, you can change the body. Where the mind goes, the body will follow. And so I think I would recommend getting a lot of um, psychology classes in in your undergraduate work, maybe getting a minor. If you're a super nerd, <laughs> get a double major, um, any type of psychology, health psychology, um, childhood development, health psychology, um, even to an extent, maybe even ethics. I took a healthcare ethics class, which was very interesting. So you need to understand how the body operates, why it does things the certain way that it does how we can fine tune those things to achieve maximum results and most importantly, get them on the mental track so that they can follow physically after that. In summation, always let an active lifestyle. It's outside all the time playing sports, which is kind of funny now because I really don't care about sports. Played baseball my entire life, did lacrosse a little bit. Um, so just staying active and then especially going into the military, I was just like, I have to work out. I have to stay moving. I don't understand what it means to just sit still. Maybe it's just my ADD kicking in. Balls. And then also having to go through the injury that I did and recovering myself. So there was that personal vendetta of trying to improve myself and at the same time it opened up the opportunity to make this a new career. So having a physically active background, having to go through a pretty significant life event, and then getting that degree, the Bachelor's of Science in Health, Physical Education, Exercise Science, 
lot of psychology work, and then now my master's work. So probably by the time you're watching this, if you're just choosing a degree or about to go to college, um, I don't think just getting your undergraduate is gonna be enough, especially in this industry. It is very booming, very growing, and there are a lot of people out there who have a lot of education, a lot of certifications, and you may have all the experience in the world, but certain things just on paper have to be there. So I honestly hate school. I don't really see the point of it a lot. I mean, yeah, you learn certain things, but I'm a big believer in that. You're gonna learn a lot more getting out there in the world, doing it, making mistakes, seeing people do it currently, and then just finding your own niche. So got my degree, got a couple certifications, well, another certification on the way, and then my master's degree is coming up. So. I'm honestly only getting it because I want to stand apart on paper on my resume if it comes down to it if I need it. So uh, I love my job. I love helping people. I get to do it in my personal life and now I just get paid for it. So if you have any other specific questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll definitely help you out and answer in any way that I can. I think that's kind of the majority of the information people have been asking me. And so, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, fire down below and uh, see you next time.